If you are looking to showcase your videos, whether they are product demos, testimonials or something else, in a sleek, organized gallery, you are in the right place. On my website, I've set up a video gallery where the videos fill the screen with a gallery at the bottom like this, where visitors can click on any video to watch. So, if I click here, this video starts playing automatically. It also has a smooth pop-up effect when you hover over a video before clicking it, which I love for the later details. I'll show you how to create this using Elementor's free version. So, let's get started. I'll start by opening a new page, getting a container, and setting it to Flexbox. Let's make it full width. Next, I'll remove the padding and add the tabs widget. We are using this widget because it will allow us to add multiple images and videos like I showed you in the beginning. I'll make some positioning adjustments like this. For the alignment, I'll keep it at the center. Then I'll go here and select normal. Reduce the gaps between the tabs like this. And change the background color to white by changing this setting. Next, I'll move on to the hover effect and change the background color to white. I prefer using color codes for specific colors, but you can also choose a color from the color wheel. I'll pick the same background color under active option and keep the padding at zero. Our container is now ready. It's time to add the images and videos to these tabs. But before we do that, you should know that adding videos and pictures in Elementor can slow down your site and you don't want your videos to lag when someone browses through your gallery, right? So, full disclosure, my team built this free optimization tool called Airlift, where if you put your URL, it will optimize all the videos and images on your site and rescale them to fit all kinds of devices without losing quality. This will load your gallery faster and give your visitors a smoother experience. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later. So try it out and let me know what you think. Now inside these tabs, you'll find a box to put your image or thumbnail URL for each video. So when a user clicks on this image, the relevant video will autoplay on the screen. So here is my library. I'll choose this image, go here and copy this URL, come back and paste it here. Now the important part, go here to CSS ID and put this ID so that this image connects with the code that we will add later. Now, it's time to add a video relevant to the image that we just added. To do that, I'll get a Flexbox container, make it full width, set it to full height, and turn the padding to zero. Again, to connect this with our code, let's add this CSS class. To add the video, I'll go to style and add the video link. To connect the image with the video, we will add a CSS code. So go here and click this and now go to the description, copy the code and paste it here. Let's update the page to save our changes. Next, to create a gallery, I'll duplicate this and follow the same process to add the second image and a video. You can do this as many times as you want. I'll duplicate it a few more times and it should look something like this. The images in my gallery look good and if I hover, there's a smooth pop-up effect. And when I click it, my video plays automatically. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this, so click here and I'll see you there.